Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at adaptations, and this is actually Adaptations Part 2. I dropped the link to Part 1 down in the description in case you missed it, but if you're ready for Part 2, let's get started. So if we remember correctly, adaptations are characteristics of living things that help them survive in their environment. And we talked about physical and behavioral adaptations. Physical being physical features or parts of the body that help something survive. And behavioral are behaviors or actions something takes in order to help them survive. And we specifically took a look at giraffes in part one. We talked about some of their physical and behavioral adaptations. In part two, we're going to take a look at a bottlenose dolphin. So again, we'll go through physical and behavioral adaptations. So hopefully this along with the examples from part one will give you a better understanding of both physical and behavioral adaptations and adaptations in general. So let's start with physical adaptations. The first physical adaptation that I wanna mention is a dolphin's torpedo-like shape, which is perfectly adapted for speed. And their powerful tail is also adapted for speed as it moves up and down in order to propel a dolphin through the water. Now dolphins are mammals, so they need to come up for air from time to time. They do not have gills. So dolphins have blowholes on the top of their head area. This allows them to quickly and easily break the surface to take in air. The next adaptation is their great eyesight. This helps dolphins find prey or spot threats. Dolphins have very sharp teeth that are specifically designed to grab prey like fish, and then they swallow it whole. Their teeth are not for chewing, so they are perfectly designed for gripping slash grasping their prey. Lastly, we have countershading, which is a type of camouflage. It helps dolphins blend in with their environment. A bottlenose dolphin is gray on its back, and this gray fades to white on the dolphin's underbelly. When you look down at the dolphin from above, it blends in with the darker water. When you view it from below or underneath, the white blends in with the bright surface of the water and the sun. Now this picture doesn't have the best example of this, but if you look at other examples or pictures of bottlenose dolphins, you'll notice the counter shading. You'll also notice it in some other animals, like a great white shark. So those are all examples of physical adaptations. Now those aren't the only physical adaptations for dolphins, but those are a handful of good examples, and I hope they give you a better understanding of what physical adaptations are. So let's take a look at behavioral adaptations of dolphins now. Remember, a behavioral adaptation is an action or behavior that helps a living thing survive. So the first behavioral adaptation is a dolphin's ability to hunt in groups. They have social systems and communication systems which allow them to effectively hunt in these groups. The ability to successfully hunt helps dolphins survive. And by the way, the groups of dolphins are called pods. Another behavioral adaptation is the way in which dolphins sleep. Like we talked about earlier, dolphins cannot breathe underwater, so they've adapted to their environment in order to be able to sleep. Dolphins' brains sleep one half at a time. They close one eye when sleeping and keep the other open. The left eye will close when the right, brain, right side of the brain is sleeping. Then the right eye will close when the left side of the brain is sleeping, so it's opposite. They switch which half of the brain is sleeping periodically. Dolphins' breathing is not automatic like ours, so they need to remain partly conscious in order to control breathing. Dolphins typically sleep at the surface of the water and they may lay motionless or they can swim slowly. So there are a couple examples of behavioral adaptations. So after taking a look at physical and behavioral adaptations of a bottlenose dolphin, I hope we have a better understanding of what adaptations are, and specifically physical and behavioral. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.